Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to remove the gesture navigation pill from your Android 13 device. The steps are applicable across all the Pixel phone and across all the custom ROM which are AOSP based. By AOSP based, we mean the ROM such as the Pixel Experience, Arrow OS, CR, Droid, Evolution X and the likes. So on that note, let's get started. So currently, as you could see, this is the navigation bar at the bottom, as you could see from here, the white bar. And it's there across all the screens, even in the home screen. And even if I launch Chrome, you could see that the bar is there at the bottom. So this does not give out the clean UI experience and it tends to block the experience of immersive UI. So in this video, we'll show you how to remove this from the bottom of your screen across all the phones. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to root your phone by Magisk. If you haven't done so, then you could refer to my guide on how to root any Android phone and get this job done. Once you've done the route, make sure to launch the Magic Cap and verify the same. So you could verify the same from here as well as you could see, it's both the app and Magic are now installed and we are now good to go ahead. So next up, you now have to enable Zygisk. So launch the Magic Cap and tap on the settings icon, then enable the toggle next to Zygisk. Let me show you once again. So it will now ask you to restart to apply changes. We will not do a restart now, but we will do a restart after flashing a few mods. So now go back. And now you have to download the mod, which is known as LS Post module. So download it from GitHub. I have given the link on my guide. So go to my guide and click on the LS Post module and download the link from the mod from here, expand the asset section of this module and download the one which correspond to Zygisk as you could see. So download LS Post Zygisk release from here and then send it to your device. If your phone is not visible on your PC, as you can see from here, my phone is not visible over here. Then expand the notification section and under charging this device, change to file transfer and your phone should now be visible on your PC as you could see to make sure to transfer the module over onto your phone. Once that is done, let's now flash this module. So launch the Magisk app, go to the module section, tap on install from storage and you now have to select the LS Post Zygis module and tap on OK. The module will now be flashed and once that is done, we will not reboot our, our phone now, rather we have to flash one more module. Now the next module is the name AOSP mod. So go to its GitHub page, the link is given in my guide. So go to its GitHub page and make sure to download the module from here as well. So this is the AOSP mod full and exposed. The full version contains all the goodies. So I will recommend you to download this version itself. So download the AOSP mod full and once again transfer it to your phone. The module as well. So with this, you have transferred the module AOSP mods, and let's now flash this module as well. So go back again, go to the module homepage, the Magic homepage, then go to modules, tap on install from storage, and this time around select the AOSP mod full, and it will now ask you to confirm the flash. So tap on OK, and with this, the flashing of the AOSP mod is also completed. Let's wait for the time frame. So the flashing is not done. So up until now, we have enabled Zygisk, flash the LS Post framework and now we have flashed the AOSP mod. Once you have carried out all these three tasks, let's now perform a reboot. You could also do a reboot after every task, but that will only take up additional time. So it's much better to first enable Zygis and flash both the modules and only then we should reboot our phone. And the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's wait for the time frame and as I have told you before, you could carry out the steps across the AOSP based ROM as well. Apart from all the Pixel phones. So do try out and let me know the result as well. The only requirement is that your phone should be rooted by Magisk. Anyways, let's now unlock our phone and verify the result. So first and foremost, you have to launch the Magisk app. So launch the Magisk app from here. Now go, go to the module section and make sure the universal, the Zygis LS post and the AOSP mods both are flashed and enabled on your phone likewise go to the home section and make sure you're now getting yes next to zygisk once both the modules are activated enabled and you are getting yes next to zygisk let's now proceed ahead so as you could see while we have installed the ls post zygisk version there is no app on my app drawer using which i could interact with the ls post app so we'll now have to install the ls post apk as well that is quite easy to do so let's search for the ls post zip file and it should be there itself just a minute so this is the ls post zip as you can see on our phone what we have to do is simply select it and hit the extract option 
the extract option should be there across all the file manager apps. So select open with and you could choose any app of your choice or simply select tap on the ls post and it will bring out all the files. We only need the file manager.apk but we'll have to extract the entire bundle. So tap on extract and the file will then be extracted. So this, this is the extracted file. Now within here you just need to tap on manager.apk and it will now install the ls post app onto our phone. It should only take a few seconds so let's wait for the time frame and with this the ls post is now installed so let's now open the app so let me show you that in the app drawer this is the ls post app that we have now got so let's now launch the app and you will get a few prompt so tap on ok and now go to the module section and as you can see the aosp mod is there but it's not enabled so select it and enable the module and with this the module has been enabled and you will now get the app in the app drawer so this is the aosp mod Let's bring it here as well. So now launch the AOSP mod and you will get a magic request. So tap on grant. And after that, you have to go to the navigation bar and just enable the toggle next to hide navigation bar. And once that is done, tap on the workflow again at the top right and check mark restart system UI. It will restart the UI and should only take a few seconds. And once that is done, you could now unlock your phone. And as you could see upon the unlock, the navigation bar is now removed from our phone across all the section and it will not be there on any UI page as well. So let me show you the Google Chrome page as well. Apart from that, if I go to the settings menu. So with this, our task stands complete and you have successfully removed the gesture navigation from your Pixel phone. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If at any point in time you want to bring back the navigation bar, then all you have to do is simply launch the AOSP mod go to the navigation bar and then disable the toggle next to this and as you could see we have again got the bar back so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching